Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Forever Stranded Lost Souls. I almost forgot the title. <laughs> Anyways guys, welcome. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 9 and I've got a great episode planned for you. Uh, hashtag question of the day. Would you rather have furnaces that have upgrade spots or say elytra enchantments? So let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really like to know what you guys think. As always, if you enjoy this series, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. So what have I done since last time? Well, uh, last time we left off, we created cold coke, which is up and running. We've also got creosote oil, which means now we can make treated sticks. And that's very, very important. Uh, let's put that up there. So let me grab a bucket and we're going to get started with that. I also completed the fern, the quest for that too. Uh, I think I need to put it up here. There we go. So now we have a bucket of creosote oil and to make it treated wood. I wonder if, I don't think you can do treated logs. Can you, I think it has to be treated wood. Do I have any wood? I don't know. I have sticks. Oh, I have a little bit there. So let's so first off, let's just see what we can do with this, right? So can I do treated wood like that? No, I think I really do think it has to be logs. So let's break two of these down. Put those there, put those there. So there's eight treated wood. So I can turn those into sticks. So that's important because when we want to go ahead and make a diamond pickaxe, we need the treated wood, but I still can't even uh, use it yet because it requires mining of 10. Um, and our mining skill is only a level five. So to take care of that issue, I spent just a little bit of time um, mining, or not mining, but sieving. And so we've already got three iron, but let's put this away real fast. We are actually gonna switch to iron tools today if we have enough. I've got 40 and I've got three on me. I think we needed like 12 total. Okay, so <laughs> that's not enough, there's seven. Um, man, that's that's just bad luck. I wonder what the best way to get this is because I've been using these iron stiffen meshes and 10% with that one, 30% uh, with that one. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. I've I've really been using the wrong thing. Okay, let's uh let's take these out of here. Um, I would imagine that it would be pretty easy. Um. You, you know what, man? I really dropped the ball on this. Wow. I really did. What we should do is we should grab these. Grab all of these. And then, do I have any more sieves? I don't remember if I crafted any more. There we go. Anything over here? Nope. Let's make some more. We should 100% be using diamond. That's like the best. I can't believe I didn't notice that. That's That's a pretty big fail on my part, to be honest with you. So we'll craft some more of these. So there's five. Uh, actually, let's make one more. A little bit there, 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 there. Uh, you missing a point. Oh, I have slabs in here, so we'll grab those. Thought I had slabs in there, did I not? I must have grabbed them already. All right, let's make one more. So we gotta figure out the XP issue today. XP is a huge problem for us right now. So I really, really want to figure that out. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to put it over here, actually. Put it right here. Ooh, it's laggy. So let's put all of our diamond meshes in here. I'm actually kind of curious. Um, I don't have any gravel, I don't think, right now. Obviously, I can make as much gravel as I need. Put this over here. You. And I already put the other one in there. Is there any gravel in there? No. Okay, so yeah, right now our main focus should definitely, definitely be iron. We want to get as many iron tools finished as possible. Put that in there. All right, so let's grab a few hammers. I just want to do maybe a stack and see where that leaves us because I've been doing everything with that iron stiffened mesh and I really, really want to see what it will do if we can use some diamond mesh. I just want to, because I know like we did quite a bit of drops with it, but this didn't seem like the output was very good. So that 40%, it's a pretty big number. And I'm pretty excited. So let's finish this. So right now we can make a pickaxe um, and like two other tools. We're, we're pretty close to being able to make a full set. There we go. So there's like 63. Let's just run through this real fast. It's going to go much faster too. Well, I got another diamond. 
Wow. Okay, Diamond Mesh was definitely the way to go. I, this is that was a that, that was me dropping the ball big time. Oh my god. <laughs> look, at, look at all that. Dude, Diamond Mesh is where it's at. Now I remember now the one thing that sucks is like with this you can't use uh you can't get coal with it. So I have to switch between so uh, obviously all that in there but uh, anyways let's put this up we're doing really good on diamonds right now there we go make some more did I put the four in there no okay so we'll craft this up my humps my lovely lady lumps I got the black eyed peas stuck in my head today there we go so let's go ahead and start crafting some tools shall we so iron pickaxe I can use that Okay, how much durability does that have? 220, that's not very much. Shovel, can use that one. Can I use the sword? For attack. Okay, so I don't have enough to make the attack. What about the axe for gathering? There we go. So the only thing I don't have yet is the attack. Um, oh, this one, and it requires four attack. All right, so it's kind of good that we don't have the iron for that anyways, so. Put all that up real fast. Take you out of there. So I was thinking, how would what would be the best possible way to get? Uh, uh, I don't think I have another sword. I mean, I have this gold sword, but that's not very good. We need a we need a better sword. I guess I'll use this for now. Uh, but anyways, I was thinking about ways to get XP, and I'm thinking about making some sort of farm. So first off, let's check the quests. I completed the iron one. So for this one, ooh. See, I've already gone, I can already make the iron sword. Uh, the four chicken roast will be good. I don't think I can eat that though. So I think that's an issue. Oh, I can eat it. I'm totally taking that then. Having more food is pretty much really important at this point. I'm gonna take that, what's that? Oh, can I? So that and then that. So I got the six levels, fantastic. So we want to upgrade attack. And we're gonna to continue to upgrade attack until we can use the sword. So a little bit more food. And then I also completed another quest. Um, I don't know where it's at though. I think it would be this one. Maybe, it's so this right here is the one I completed. So it wants me to make the engineer's manual. Engineer, uh, engineer's manual. So that's a lever. How am I gonna get a book? Uh, tanned leather. So I can't use a cauldron. And I ha I don't really have a way to get leather. Interesting, or tanned leather for that matter. Filament. Can't make that either. Wow, I have like no way to get a book. No. Wow, that's pretty bad luck. And this is just, oh, that's a better with mods cauldron. It takes bark, however you get bark. You have to make an iron, oh wow. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I don't have a way to get that stuff yet, so there's no way I can finish that quest. Um, so anyways, let's go outside. So what I was thinking was, um, how do I want to handle this? Well, I think, you know what? We could probably vein mine. Hammer, hammer, and do I have any more hammers? I'll use these for now, but uh, I don't remember the key. We can look under controls or excavation shape. Okay, so is my, hold on, is my chat on? Chat is shown, okay, fantastic. So uh, what is the, I guess we could just change the key for that. Let's change it to Y. U, I, O, semicolon, L, K, K will work. K, there we go, so K, let's do five by five. So what I'm thinking is um, somewhere like right in here, maybe even up here, let's see how this works, like right here. Mm, not good. <laughs> that did not work the way I wanted it to. I should have considered lava. Ah, hold on. I should bring blocks with me. There we go, let's use these for now.
Oh, I can't use it. There we go. Anyways, we need to get rid of that lava because I just want to make a gigantic flat surface, right? If I can make a flat surface, then I can totally kind of manipulate how pigmen spawn. I might have to I might have to slab a bit out here, but I don't think that would be too much trouble. Alright, so anyways, I'm gonna dig this out and I'll come back. Okay, guys, so the game plan here is going to be initially I was going to fill this in over here, uh, or to break this out, but after a little bit of work, that became really unrealistic. <laughs> like that that's not something that I think I'm gonna be able to do. So instead we're just going to use our cobblestone generator and fill this area in. So the game plan here is a little bit different than the initial idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in, make the area flat, and then I'm going to put spaces in where I can just kill mobs. Like I can run to and hide. Like, uh, you know, like a mob is like too high. Well, I guess that wouldn't work if they're... Never mind, that, that was a bad idea. I initially was going to do that, but um, maybe we could still figure something out. Like maybe put a door or something in. Uh, use some half slabs or something, but also I just killed a special mob a second ago, and I got that heart in my inventory um, So kill this guy there we go So I figure the flatter that we have this I feel like the probably the easier that it will be to uh, Kill things because one thing that I've had trouble with is terrain so if I can navigate the terrain a lot better It'll probably be a little bit easier to kill stuff so there we go. Something like that. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna keep filling this in. Um, I, I can you replant these things? Do these just replant? Like, oh, they do. Sick. Okay, fantastic. That's a that's awesome because I was a little worried about that. Um, because it seems like we use twine quite a lot, right? And if I can just replant it, like, and make a farm for it, it'll be much better. So. Now the problem is, is that channeling mobs in this area is going to be nearly impossible for us. So, because uh, there's just too many spawn spaces, like really. So that's that's pretty unrealistic. Sorry if you hear that noise outside. I think they're. We had a snowstorm last night. We got about three inches of snow, and uh, so they're plowing the apartment buildings right now. And uh, that was that noise. If you heard it, so I hope you didn't. There we go. Okay, so that's all. That's a pretty big area filled in. Now, obviously, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get the rest of this finished. But um, so things like up here, I'm not really sure what I want to do about those just yet. Um, definitely want to fill this in over here. Huh. Interesting. We de I definitely want to move our tree farm down here too. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe like removing this. I wish I could just break that, those blocks. It would be sick if I could just break them because then I wouldn't have to even like really worry about them being in the way. Like I can't even mine them. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, so let's fill this in right, right here. So yeah, uh, I just, you know what I'm thinking though? You know, now that I think about it, the whole idea between killing the mobs down here is going to be a pretty bad one. What we should probably do instead is, um, put these down, hold on, put these down. We should probably make it safe down here. Like we should put a fence in here somewhere. That's what I'm thinking. That might be a much better idea. This thing has got to go. Oh my God, so bad looking. All right. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on what I was doing. Uh, I'm going to remove this and continue to work on this area, and I'll be back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away real fast. So we're going to go ahead and start planting some stuff outside. I need to figure out what I can and can't, though. So I know I need the fibers, and I know those give you seeds. I think it's these right here, right? These spores. Plant on any solid surface. Same with these. Oh, those are the same thing. Okay. So do I have any more of those? What else did I get from mining? I just got the spores. Okay, fantastic. So out here, where do I want to put these? Let's see. I think on... Let's get the more open end. So I'm going to put the tree farm like right here. And then over here, I'll plant these spores. So... 
Let's just say like right there. Not really sure how these work. Can I? Don't think I can shift those. Okay. So can I walk on those? I can. Let's get like, I can't really see them. They're, they're really, really hard to see. Get just a bunch of these planted. So if we ever need that string, and let me go upstairs. Do I have any nether rack? Crush soul sands. If I don't have any actual nether rack, I'll just make it. There we go. And then I have dirt in here. So let's make a little bit of nether rack. There we go. Let's grab my tools. I don't want to forget those. All right. So down here, I'm going to remove this and put this here. So just get a bunch more of those planted. There we go. So we've got a bunch of those spores planted. Then I'm trying to think about where I want to put the tree farm because we, we're going to need some overhead space. I'm thinking probably about right here would be a good one. Let's go and grab the saplings. Saplings, there we go. And then do I have any torches? I heard that uh, torches in this pack are sketchy. So, I guess I don't. Anyways, so we'll put one. What we should probably do is just try to grow one right here to make sure it'll grow. There we go, so that grows just fine. And then we want to make sure that we have optimal placement. So there's at least two lamp branches. So there's one, one, two, one. So put one here. That that might be in the way. The spaceship might be in the way there. We'll see if it will grow or not. Okay, so that actually grew and it was taller. All right, fantastic. And then I'm sure we can probably fit one more over. So there's five in between. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm thinking probably like right there. So we'll have just a little tree farm here. There we go. Come on, grow. Let's say the ceiling might, I might be too far away. Does it want to grow? Could, there, there could be a lot of reasons. I think it might be the light level too, by the way. That could be the issue. I'll leave that there for now. So. The final thing I want to do is I want to make the area just a little bit safer. We don't really have a lot of protection where we're at. So first and foremost, we need... Oh, never mind. That one grew. First and foremost, let's get rid of this hole I made. Can I mine that? And that gave me iron nuggets. Okay. So I don't think I can mine that diamond. No. All right. So let's we'll remember that's there that there so that's kind of free now uh, realistically if we're gonna make this area safe the only really way to do that is by slabbing so we would have to any place we don't want mobs to spawn we need to slab so that'll take a little bit of time but like just just like that pretty much and go through and pretty much slab everything uh now that's just going to help this area we'll need to make some sort of fence or something uh not to mention uh like over here there's gonna be mobs and so uh i'll try to get as much of the slabbing done as i possibly can and i'm glad that we've got farms started the thing that's really gonna bug me though is the xp um I'm not really sure what to do about the XP, to be honest with you. Oh, something's still hitting me. Did it really go that way? There we go. So, uh, finally, we should probably make a wall. So I'm thinking probably somewhere before this, right? So we'll put, like, pillar, and then two, three, four, five, maybe something like that. And then we'll probably half slab in between this or like make a little wall or something. Just wanna make it to where nothing can really get through here. So let's go like three high, couple blocks, how, um, four, one, two, three, four, three high. 
one, two, three, four, three high, two, three, four. There we go. Kill this guy. Fantastic. And then so any mobs that spawn in here, we should be able to kill no problem. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so over here we'll need to be slabbed as well. So we need to remove all that. So I've got a bit of work to get finished here. I'm going to work on that and I'll be back. All right, guys. I'm actually quite surprised. Do you want to know why? Check this out. There's actually quite a bit of mobs here. I'm really surprised. Like, this could actually be beneficial for us. I have slabbed around the top of this uh, just, you know, to prevent any mobs from spawning. So that's all taken care of. That's that's not a problem. That, we have cobblestone. No big deal. So now that that's taken care of, look at how many pigmen we have. We have here. Um, trying to. I think I, the only spot I missed was up there. But if you look around, I pretty much got the rest of it. And I gotta be honest with you. I, I mean, it looks pretty good. Now the thing that I wanted to do was is I wanted to grab a door. Uh, do I have an extra door anywhere? What I want to do is I want to set up some sort of makeshift. Uh, like just a safe spot pretty much uh i also need to eat food do i am i out of food grab my jerky nim 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 so where i think i'm gonna put this is i think i'm gonna put it back here right so if we put it right here the only problem with that you know what here let's grab some cobblestone i'm gonna put some walls in here um that is that. Uh, you know what? I might have to change it. Put it one, two, three, four, like right here. Two. So I think that right there is gonna do it. So how do we get in here though? Is the question. Oh my god, that's that's like not lined up very well. Uh. uh you know what? I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to do this. I didn't even consider that when I was putting the pillars in. Oh no. Um, yeah, let's just go over one, it's fine. So we'll do one away right here. Uh, that'll be, it doesn't line up and it makes my eyeballs twitch, but uh, it should be enough to protect us. So, and I'll just sort of fill this in right there like that. There we go. So we got to put a door in here somewhere and figure that out. This will just be our little safe area because once we hit a mob, I don't think mobs can spawn in there. So put that right there. Pickaxe is definitely about to break. So where do we put it though is the question. Could put it right in the middle. Just to be like run right in pretty much. And there goes the pickaxe. I didn't know that was wood. There we go. So we could put that right there. And then put a slab on top of that. That's pretty janky. But in the grand scheme of things, it should work. So the question is, let's test it here. Oh, that's hard to get in there. Oh, didn't consider that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so two things here. One, the mobs are getting stuck on the corners. Didn't anticipate that. So, yeah, we need to make a new pickaxe. So, go up here. Didn't anticipate that at all. So, let's fix that up. New pickaxe. Uh, kill this guy. I don't really have a good, uh, a good tool, because I I don't have a way to get. Uh, don't really have a way to get what I need. I can't reach him. Huh. This is bad. I wanted to get out there. I can't hit him. I might just have to let him in. 
There's too many though. Yeah, you know what? Here, we'll do this. Put that right there, put that right there. Hmm. <laughs> I can't see it. I gotta be able to see it, so I'll put a block down. There. There we go. Hell, that's a that's a better spawner than what we had before. Before we do anything, let's uh, upgrade attack. Axe isn't too bad. Durability's crap. That actually worked out pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. Is he not aggroed on me anymore? I literally just murdered all of your friends. He's not. Okay, so that'll give us a chance to fix this. So this will be pretty easy to fix. All we need to do is put the slabs in the correct spot. Let's fix that. I have to do it from the outside, I guess. There. Those two out there are still aggroed. This guy is not aggroed at me, though. That is very weird. Huh, whatever. It's all good in the hood, baby. There we go. So we'll be able to attack from there. Now, the only problem is this little spot right here. That should solve that. Yeah, they can't get in from right there, so. There we go. So make sure that that's okay. Put those in the wrong spots. That actually, this actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest with you. So now I can just walk in. The guys back there are still aggroed at me. I can hit them. That'll also draw the other pigmen towards me. Maybe not. They might be a little bit too far away. Now getting their XP out there might be a little bit harder. Maybe not. Inventory's full. Can I get rid of? All right, so attack plus five. There we go. So yeah, this uh, this episode was pretty uh, pretty work related here. We actually got quite a bit done today. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it there, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out.